Notre Dame, seven and a half point favorite on Sunday against Florida State. Now, I, I put this a little early in the pick because it's Notre Dame and it's Florida State. And there's a lot of love on Florida State right now. There was a ton of action because this line opened up around nine. It got bet up quickly, like 10, 10 and a half. Came all the way back down. Now we're sitting at seven and a half. Uh, Jack Cohn is the quarterback for Notre Dame. Florida State, however, we have not figured out exactly what they're going to do. It sounds like Jordan Travis actually won that job over McKenzie Milton, and that tells me that Milton has not come back fully from his surgeries and whatnot. And that's why I liked Florida State so much. Have they announced a, a starter for this? Have you seen it? No, no, and the, and I don't think they're going to, by the way. And, and I'll tell you this. If I'm Mike Norvell, I'm not going to either. I fully understand why these coaches do it. It pisses me off. It makes it, I mean, you know, it makes it hard for us to talk about the game, to prep, and, 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 to, and to be ready, but I wouldn't do it if I was a coach. Yeah, the Tallahassee Democrat said uh, resolution of Florida State's quarterback battle won't be announced until game day. And, and that makes sense. So it's... I, I will tell you this, I I think if Jordan Travis is the quarterback, Florida State is not going to be able to throw the football because I I saw him last year, and unless he has made dramatic improvements, and I understand Florida State has brought in transfers, they have upgraded the roster, all of this good stuff, right? I get all of it. But if they can't throw the football on Notre Dame, they are not going to be able to run it. No, I don't think they'll run the football on him. So I'm I will take Notre Dame minus seven and a half here because it, I don't think Florida State can throw the football. I'm with you. I I I, I like Notre Dame in this game. I think Notre Dame is getting to. They're not Alabama. They're not Clemson. They're not Ohio State. I'm not asking them to be. Okay, they're getting to that point where they lose guys to the NFL. For the last five years, they've put the best offensive lineman in the draft in the NFL. And every year we say, "Oh, that offensive line is going to struggle." Well, guess what? The next year, they're still the best offensive line in college football, or they're in the top three or five or whatever. I, they're just at that point where I'm not worried about some of the positions that they lose. They lost a bunch of tight ends. Guess what? I bet whoever's playing tight end for them is really athletic and can catch football. Like I just, I just assume that that's where Brian Kelly's got in this program. Nobody trusts Jack Cohn because we didn't see Jack Cohn do much of shit while he yeah. was at w- Wisconsin. Guess what? Brian Kelly wasn't his coach at Wisconsin. Okay, and and I mean that with as much disrespect as I can to Paul Chris. <laughs> they're not the same. Okay, they're just not. You got one guy that might be the seventh or eighth best offensive coach in the Big Ten, and the other guy might be the third or fifth best offensive mind in all of college football. Big difference. Yes. Yes. Very I just, big just but hang on, I could be way wrong. Jack Cohn could just be another dude, and and and, and Notre Dame looked terrible. But I just have gotten to a point where I trust Brian Kelly, and if it burns me this year, then it burns me, and it's going to burn me in this game. But I like I, I like the, the Irish. Don't don't forget Notre Dame also has Tyler Buckner, who I, I think will end up being the quarterback eventually. It, it may not even be well, this, year. this year. No, I don't. I don't. But, I don't think Cone's going to be bad enough to lose his job. I think we're going to see the best be. Cone we've ever seen. Yeah, I think I think you might be right about that. I think you might be right. So we're, I've seen good coaches take. Players that nobody thought were very good and turn them into really good players, and I'll be damned. Yep. It happened to be the coach. Yep, you are correct about that. So now we did we did see a Wisconsin quarterback leave and transfer to another school in the past. That was Alex Hornibrook, and he didn't even start for Florida State. So so who knows? But I, I do think this situation is different. And yes. and we are both riding Notre Dame minus seven and a half, even with the hook. We we like them. I, I like Notre Dame by double digits here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.